We're going to start with the Pinocchio. After we cut, we're going to scoop up all the extra bread. We try to make it look good. Uh, not too much meat, uh, just enough uh, for uh, please uh, the palate. But that every bite is like the perfect bite. The name of Alidoro is the name of a dog that is mentioned on the original story of Pinocchio. Not the Walt Disney, the one from Collodi, that is also another sandwich that we have in our menu in honor of Collodi, the original writer of Pinocchio. So, so we start to put a few of the sandwiches, uh, the names. One is the Alidoro, the other one is the Pinocchio, one is the Cepetto and the Collodi. So we got a little bit of the you know, the next one that we maybe figured out uh, doing uh, the Gatto La Volpe, that is the cat and the, and the fox, uh, that is part of the story of Pinocchio too. So it's always an evolution of that. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's pretty much why we call it a Pinocchio, is I think is uh, in honor of uh, the writer and everything. Especially because a lot of Americans don't know that Collodi was the writer, not, not Walt Disney. <laughs> Oh, now I'm going to eat it. It's so good. It's mad amazing. Wow. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Now we do the brando. The ingredients is basics. It's not like a list of 20,000 ingredients like other products. For us, it's very important to don't over put ingredients on the sandwich. You have to have just the right amount. If you put too much, then the sandwich goes out of balance. You're not going to enjoy every single ingredient. One is going to cover the other one, one is going to overlap and uh, don't give you the right feeling that you're supposed to, enjoy it. Even cutting it is an art, believe me, especially on focaccia, it's very delicate. So when you cut it, you have to go slowly, 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 slowly. And then, it was renamed because my wife was Brenda, so what happened? Every time they were asking for the Brenda, she was turning over. <laughs> now we do the Mona Lisa. as a special smile. After you're eating it. <laughs> I give you the kind of smile, you know? And this one is strictly vegetarian. So we don't carry any meat for this one. Like you see, I try always to make it in a way that goes all over. You know, because every bite had to be an experience. Until the last bite when you say, damn it, I finished the sandwich. <laughs> I go quoi.